Denise Williams talked of her son Ryan, a twin. I've lost one son and I live in fear. I'm going to lose the second one because he can't live with what happened to his brother and the damage that these opiates have done to him. Ginger Rosella remembered her son, Jacob. My son was using heroin about a month and a half. I got a call one morning that his father and younger brother, who was a senior in high school at the time, had found him dead in the bathroom. Both moms said a legal prescription for opioid painkillers was the starting point. County leaders called exposure to prescription opioids a deadly gateway that they plan to close down by going to court. Anne Arundel County intends to file a civil action against opioid manufacturers, distributors, and our county's pill mill doctors, whose marketing and prescribing practices helped ignite and have radically amplified this crisis in Maryland and here in Anne Arundel County. The lawsuit, a first for our state and one of about 40 nationwide, the county has tapped law firm Motley Rice for the job. Nothing is off the table at this point in terms of the causes of action we could pursue or defendants that we could include in the case. It's legal action that today got the seal of approval from these two moms. And thank you for Anne Arundel County for standing up and saying enough is enough. We're done and we're going to win this fight. We asked county officials and attorneys today the timeline for this civil action. When could we expect to see a case filed? The answer, as soon as possible. In Annapolis, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.